Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. The fact of the matter is that nobody really cares about the unemployed people in the United States. The United States is drifting into a European kind of model where a few people in the middle class and the elite upper class do fantastically well, and a lot of people struggle for most of their lives economically. Nobody seems to be concerned about that. The reason I say nobody's concerned about it is nobody's doing anything about it. So it's a kind of a right-wing word, so I don't like it. But this theater stuff about people trying to look out for the middle class and look out for the poor is all malarkey. So until some people at the highest levels get actually concerned about this stratification in the United States economy, there's a grave danger setting us up for major difficulties over the next two decades because we're not going to have an educated, committed workforce. There's going to be increasing antagonism between quote-unquote labor and quote-unquote management to the detriment of all. Now let's get back to rare earths. Today and tomorrow we're going to be finishing up our lecture on rare earths. Today we're going to be talking about light rare earths. So first of all, scandium is an isotope in crude oil analysis. Uh, is used in mercury vapor for sunlight lamps, for those of us who like to have fake sunlight in our office, uh, and of all things, for baseball bats. How about that? Lanthanum is used in movie lighting, modular cast construction iron, energy conservation, I won't mention this, lighter flints, lighter flints for cigarette lighters, and improving alloys. Cerium is used in self-cleaning ovens, movie lighting, metallurgical and nuclear utilizations, quantitative analysis, and cigarette lighters. Cigarette lighters. Prisodymium is used also in movie lighting and provides a fantastic yellow color in enamel and glass. Also in cigarette lighters. And alloys. Neodymium is used in welder's goggles, astronomy, and powerful permanent magnets. So you can see as we continue our tour of light rare earths and heavy rare earths that many of the uses I've described uh, over the last few days relate to products that are in use today and the, use, the uses of those is, is being forecast to dramatically improve. So we see increases in demand as well as shortening of supply. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water, and have a super day. Keep swinging.